You know, speaking of the coyotes, joking aside, when the president mentioned coyotes bringing children across the border, of course he was talking about human beings, not actual animal coyotes, but, and, and they're called coyotes if you didn't know that. Um, and then I saw a tweet where there was some poor woman who didn't know that coyotes was the name for the human traffickers, and she tweeted that it was dumb for the president to say coyotes are bringing children across the border because they're just small animals and how can they do that? Now, when I saw that, my first thought was, well, there can't be more than one person in the whole world who actually thought he was talking about the physical animal, a coyote. There can't be more than one of those. Well, it turns out there was more than one. (laughs) In fact, a number of blue check people were quite concerned about this problem of coyotes and bringing children across the border. Uh, So just when you think that the public cannot be any more dumb than what you've seen so far, oh yeah, they can be. Oh yeah. Don't count out the public when it comes to dumbness. Nobody ever got rich by, uh, by, was it overestimating the the public's intelligence? Uh, If you haven't been watching the news, there's not much that coyotes can do. Apparently coyotes can carry children all the way across the border and deposit them in America, go back, get some more children. Children, I think, put tiny saddles on the coyotes. I haven't actually seen the coyotes working, but you assume, just sort of common sense, that the way they would do it is not, and, and this is stupid. Some people thought, can a coyote you know, actually you know, grab a child by the, by the collar and drag them all the way across the border? No, no, a coyote isn't that big. They're not gonna like drag a kid all the way across the border. The only way to do it is to put a tiny saddle on the coyote, and then they can bear the weight because they all four legs are now working. So if you were close to the border, you would see this little little stampedes you know, from a distance, it looks dangerous. But if you get up close, you'll see that it's actually very safe because every baby is on a, a saddle on the coyote and they're heading, they're heading toward the border sort of in unison. And the babies are actually wearing bicycle helmets because the first thing you're thinking is, well, that doesn't sound safe. Put a baby on a coyote, uh, that doesn't sound safe. Don't worry. All the babies have bicycle helmets, and they have proper saddles, and the coyotes are trained. Some of the coyotes actually know first aid, so they pretty much have everything covered. We'll talk more about that later.